Hi, I'm Randy Simmons. I want to identify the objectives we have for thinking about public choice. The first is to show how public choice illuminates how economic and political processes work. The second is to identify what kinds of things are beyond politics, what policies uh, are beyond the ability of governments to actually do well, and in fact, what governments actually do poorly, uh, so that we end up with government failures. And the third is to provide a different view of the of political and economic processes than that provided by standard economics texts and especially uh, political science textbooks. The fourth is to show how citizens ask governments to do more than they can and why they ask uh, governments to uh, interrupt markets and why those policies that the citizens ask for are likely to make things worse rather than better. And fifth, we want to identify both positive and normative analysis. The positive is identifying how governments fail, why they fail, and the normative is to think about what ought to be. So students will find these objectives and this discussion of politics a bit challenging because it challenges many of their uh, cherished beliefs. That's okay. Uh, the idea is to provide you with, uh, with positive tools for uh, understanding how politics works and how, gov and how economics works. And the third is to provide you with normative tools. And the normative tools will allow you to figure out what you think ought to be done given the constraints that public choice provides us.